Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders, your Power BI channel. So today my tutorial gonna be uh, different between count rows and count dex function. So that I will demonstrate with a simple example. Press subscribe and click the bell icon so you will never miss any Power BI updates from Geek Decoders. So my data sheet contains salesperson item, sales value, sales date, feedback sales country and priority customer and as you can see mainly i will be using this feedback column uh, to my tutorial so there are some blank columns as well so please uh, note that blank sales as well please note that so first i will demonstrate uh, count uh, dex function very straightforward so go and create a new measure so i will write count the function also count so as you can see count the numbers in a column so here I will sh use sheet 1 and feedback so now here the count function is appeared in my field section so I will uh, to this card I will add this count function so it display as 9 so if you go to the count function right so uh, as you can see here as a parameter you have to give a column and also when it comes to count twice it will take only non blank values so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so when it comes to count function this blank value will not be taken right so that is about the count function Right, so now I'm going to demonstrate uh, count rows function. Go and create a new measure. So here I will use count rows and then function count rows. As you can see, count the number of the rows in the table. So very straightforward. So here you have to give a table input. So first I'll add a simple table. That means my base table and We'll see what will be the output right so as you can see now count row function also uh, started to appear in my field section and for this card I will add this uh, count row function right as you can see it displays as 11 so the 11 means so uh, the number of rows in this table so that is how count row function works Right, so now count row function. So we can use this for different purposes. So here we need to give a table input. So I will try to give a filtered one. Filter table sheet. We'll see whether it works. Filter expression. Here I would say sheet one. Then item equals to car. We'll see whether it works. Right? Seems it worked let's see the output as you can see now count row function displays as 5 that means if you go to the data table right so it that means 1 2 3 4 5 so that is how we can use uh, count row function for filtered table also this count row function that you can use with uh, any uh, function which outputs a table same like let's say summarize so any function that you can uh, use if it is outputs a table value right so now I will show you how to use this with the uh, modeling or, or related tables so go to the model tab and cre create a small table here right uh, so I'll quickly create a new table name so I will use here car van and table name is let's say item table load it right so here uh, this is my uh, table now I'm going to do a manage relationship and create a new one and here I will use 
sheet 1 item equals item table so here uh, one many to one that is fine singular so I will apply this one right as you can see now uh, a model or, or relationship created between these two tables right so I'm going to edit the count row function again count row here I want to give a table input so here I will use related table function and here I would use item table so now as you can see count row function is will display the results as number two so that means in my item uh, table that means this table so only two records that we have so that is the value that is started to display here right so I think you will get a good understanding about the count and count rows function and uh, please subscribe to my channel please share it with your friends thank you very much for watching keep in touch